The Devo Energy Dome is the classic fashion accessory. When you buy one, you get instructions telling you to install a hard hat suspension to the inside. Well, which hard hat suspension? How exactly do you do this? Well, I built three energy domes and I'm going to share with you first my experience on how to do it right and also a complete parts list below so that you can get all the parts to do the job right. Let's get started. If you bought the energy dome with the personal protective equipment face shield, set it aside for now. We're going to install this face shield last. The first thing you need to do is protect this wonderful shiny surface. Take it out of the plastic bag, get some blue tape, and cover, especially this portion right here. This bottom here, your, this thing is going to spend a lot of time upside down. So make sure to thoroughly protect this very top portion here with blue tape. And then the next step is to use stretch wrap to protect the rest of the surface. And then maybe a bit of blue tape. keep it there. There we go. Next, you want to use a vise or maybe some other tool to bend these tabs. You bend them outward like this. See that? a little bigger than 90 degrees. So that they will fit inside the energy dome like that. Fold it over here and then facing out. With the protective covering on the hat, and then a tape measure around the edge, I see that one quarter of the way around is 189 millimeters. That's seven and one half inches. So we start off at zero and mark it. And now we have four markings equidistant around the center. This is so that the glue will stick on. Scuff it up a little bit, give it some teeth. Clean it up with a vacuum cleaner. All right, the next step is to prepare the surface with isopropyl alcohol, that is, rubbing alcohol. Okay, now that the isopropyl alcohol has dried, it's time for glue. The kind of glue I'm going to use is Devcon Home Plastic Welder. It would be good to get something as close as possible to clear. This is called cream color. It's clear enough. We will also use C-clamps to clamp the joints. It's very important to clamp joints. 
so that the clamps do not mar the outside, I have added a little tape with some cardboard underneath to make sure that they do not scratch. How we're going to use these is like this. You can use either two inch or three, this is two inch. You can either use two inch or three inch C-clamps. Again, in the parts list below, you can see some Amazon links to C-clamps. Okay, so now it's time for action. Let's put equal parts of the glue. Apply the glue to the shelf here. Insert the hard hat suspension with this side up. <laughs> Here we go. And start clamping. Make sure the inside is aligned properly and in the proper position. Yeah. See, that took quite a while to get those two clamps on there. And uh, the, the glue is already setting. So it's a good thing that we're only doing two. We'll wait about two hours. Now we're back with two of the joints uh, hardened, and it's time to do the next two joints. Again, I have my two C-clamps in position with, don't forget, <laughs> with box tape on the ends. You don't want to glue your C-clamps to your energy dome. So let's mix up some more glue. And if you like, you can wipe off a little excess glue. Clean it up while it's still soft. Uh, stretch wrap that I have around the outside of it keeps any glue off of this uh, surface that we want to be nice and shiny and uh, helps circulate the energy. Okay, so now it's time to wait another two hours or so. Actually, after gaining some experience, I've found that uh, with this particular glue here, that it's nice to unclamp it and then use maybe a knife to trim off the excess while the glue is still a little soft uh, after two hours or so. It will, it's definitely uh, set, the glue is definitely set, but it's still a little soft, so it's easier to cut. You may want to take advantage of that. At the beginning of the video, I told you to wait until the end to install the PPE face shield. The reason for that is, is that we did not yet know where the front of the hard hat suspension would be. Now we know. So get a piece of blue tape and in the front, stick it on there and 
put it around the inside like that. Put on the energy dome. Doesn't that look smashing? Make sure that it's centered and then mark it with a marker right down the center of your nose. Okay. Now we know where the center is so we can mount the face shield properly centered on the energy dome. I prefer to just take off the center backing off of the Velcro and then let's try just two of them for starters and then leave the third one uh, the third backer over here leave that on there for now so it doesn't accidentally stick to something and then we have the mark that we made before that is the center of my forehead when I wear this thing and install the center velcro first push it all the way to the top okay all right and then I like to install the outside ones uh, near the bottom so that the face mask faces out more because there's not much room in there for your nose and any glasses that you wear. <laughs> now look at these glasses that I have on. See how they stick out a lot from my face? It's very easy for them to touch the, uh, the face shield right here. So when you When you install the face shield, you want to put these, these parts lower and this one higher so that the face shield will face outward away from your face, away from your glasses and away from your nose. So here we go. Here's the face shield. You see how it's kind of, uh, it doesn't cover my chin. So I think you would definitely want to wear a mask with this. Also, wrap around glasses. Where are they? Here we are. To the extent that you have wraparound glasses, like safety glasses or something like that, it fits a lot better inside. It's a lot, uh, you know, the, the, there's a lot more distance between my glasses and the face shield. Okay? Okay, so that's the face shield. And now the next step is just to peel the protective sheeting off of the inside of the face shield. Remove this... Uh, this protection that we've had on it the, full, the whole time. I think you'll agree that there was lots of scratching and, and uh, damage that we prevented by having this on the outside. And then the project is finished. Well, welcome to Club Devo. Stay safe.